Hey, I'm Matt Art. Hi, I'm Bart Taylor. Today we're here to bring you another RV Pro Tip video. Today we'll be discussing the maintenance of the slide out box for your Keystone RV. Let's start with inspecting the roof area. Because we will be inspecting the roof of the slide out box, you'll need a ladder for access. So let's talk a little bit about safety. Before setting up the ladder, always make sure the ground is dry and level. After you have your ladder set up and stable, it's a good idea to have someone steady the ladder while you're on it. Now let's take a look. Holy smokes, we've got some debris up here. Twigs, leaves, pine needles. Oh, the dreaded pine needles. They're notorious for lifting the sweep seals and letting water sneak in. Using a small broom or brush, I'm gonna clean off the roof, and while I'm here, inspect the roof membrane for signs of damage. If damage does occur, the membrane can most often be patched. Inspect the sealants of the moldings and the sweep seals. Repair as needed and allow any new sealants to cure before washing. Next is a visual inspection of the box itself. The first thing we want to inspect is the overall cleanliness of the box. Next, we want to inspect the rubber sweeps. You want to make sure the sweeps are clean and free from any debris. Hey, do we recommend lubricating the sweeps? Actually, we do not recommend lubricating the sweeps as it has the potential to collect dirt on them. If there is any damage to the sweeps, you will want to have those replaced at your local dealer to prevent any unwanted water intrusion. Next, let's take a look at our slide out sealant condition. We use sealant to protect the areas where components are installed and joined like corner moldings. Over time, these seals will need to be inspected and touched up. This is a normal part of owning an RV and should be taken seriously. If your slide out has windows, inspect the window seals at this time as well. Some windows use putty to seal the window, some use foam seal gaskets, and some plats cap seal the window as a secondary seal. Again, repair as needed and allow any new sealants to cure before washing. As the owner of the RV, is it my job to maintain the seals? The lack of maintaining seals and sealants is the number one cause of most slide out leaks. You betcha it's your responsibility. We recommend inspecting your seals and sealants frequently. I'm a regular camper and inspect my whole rig over my morning coffee. I'll see a spot or two that need attention and then I usually just make a Saturday morning to-do list. Something to keep in mind when it rains the slide out box is designed to shed water. If you need to run the slides in when it's raining, it's okay to do. The box sweeps are not squeegees though. They are sweeps and there will still be residual water that gets inside the RV. Simply take a towel and be sure to wipe it up until dry. Next, let's take a look underneath. We want to make sure the floor covering is clean and free from debris and free from damage. We can also look at any hardware and make sure it is clean and free from damage. Again, clean, dry, and damage free is what we're looking for. Tighten any loose screws or bolts that you find. Now let's talk about cleaning. We want to be free of debris collecting on the slide boxes, especially on a prolonged stay like seasonal or full-time camping. Depending on your region and site location, trees, etc., Washing the box may be needed more often. We recommend doing this on a clear, warm, dry day, and we recommend using RV-approved cleaning supplies. If you need help with that, please contact your dealer. Hey, I bought a 3,000 PSI power washer last summer to clean my deck. Can I use that to wash an RV? Oh, Matt. Come on, man, say yes. No, because, look, that, those power washers are wonderful, but what you don't understand is when they're on, it's intense pressure and can just blow a graphic right off the side of your camper. 
And not only that, as you go around the unit washing your rig, you can also blow water right through your sweeps, spraying whoever's inside, and that's not good either. So I'm sorry, but you can do it, but we certainly don't recommend it. All right, you got me. We hope this helps you along in your travels with some basic maintenance tips on your slide out boxes. For more info, check out chapter 13 of the owner's manual, where you'll also find a maintenance schedule to help you along the way. If you found this video helpful or have other suggestions to camp better, please leave us a comment. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for more RV Pro tips, visit us at KeystoneRV.com. See all of our how to content. And hey, thanks for watching. Brrrr, <laughs> <laughs>